Hi everyone, this video intends to show the most commonly used commands and tools in the command line interface in Windows 10. Some of the commands are organized in sections such as navigation commands, networking, disk and file management utilities, and so on. We're going to begin with the navigation command. For that, I have launched a command prompt windows into the Windows System 32 drivers, etc. folder so we can um, start working on it. So the first commonly used command is com the command called dir directory. And this command will list the content of the current directory. If I just hit enter, it will show me the information about the current directory. You can see the first two entries. We're going to talk about them in a second. There are uh, five files with their names, their creation date and time, and the file size. The first two entries in the dir output are the uh, current directory represented with dot and the parent directory represented with double dot. So from any place in the file system, you can use the CD command, which is change directory to navigate either to the parent directory or to any directory within the current directory. In the current directory, for example, there are no um, child directories. So the only place we can navigate to is upward or backwards in their hierarchy. So we can do like CD dot dot and I will move the location to the parent directory. As you can see, uh, we move uh, to the parent of the Etsy folder to the drivers folder. Here, if I do a there, you can see there are 505 files. So I'm not able to see them all at once. So one of the commonly used parameter of the dear command is the slash P for page. So if I do slash P, it will show me one page of information at a time. And then I hit any uh, key to look at the next uh, page of information and so on. If, if I don't want to browse through the whole output, I can just simply say control holding down control and the letter C will cancel the current command. So if you remember, we were on the Etsy directory, so we can navigate to the Etsy folder one more time by entering CD space Etsy, enter, and now we're back to the Etsy folder. Um, another way to navigate is, for example, say do you want to go to the system32 folder from this location so you can do as many times as needed using the double dots to go there so for example we're in the etsy folder and to go to the system 32 folder we have to go back two times in the hierarchy to get to the system 32 so you can do something like cd dot dot backslash dot dot that will go back to the um, parent directory and then back again to the parent directory of it, back to the system 32. One, another way is to specify the full path of the directory. So for example, if you wanna go back to the driver's Etsy, you can do like CD space, using double quotes, you can type the whole thing or use like um, the, the relative path. So, so you can do like CD slash windows slash system 32. And what I'm doing here is I'm not typing the whole thing. I just type in the first part of the words and, le and when I hit tab, it will add a complete. So next one, for example, is driver. So I can do like backslash DRI and hit the tab key. If there are more folders um, that begin with DRI, I can hit tab as many times as needed until I get to the one that I'm looking for. So for example, if I hit tab again, I see driver state 
I do driver store and then back to drivers. Then backslash Etsy, hit um, the tab key to add a complete. And as you can see, within the double quotes, you can do the relative path starting from the parent directory, going to Windows, then going to System32 folder, going to drivers, and then Etsy. I hit enter, and then I'm back to the Etsy folder. If I want to go back, all the way back to the parent directory, you can also do cd backslash. That means go to the parent or the root folder. That means I'm on the root of the CD drive. I can do DIR, hit enter, look at the content of it. And for the next exercises, we're going to go to the temp folder. And another command that you can use is the clear screen command. You can do CLS for clear the screen and that will empty the information in the screen. Now in this directory, if I do dir, hit enter, I see that it has several files. I, it doesn't have dot dot directory. And this is because the parent directory of temp is the root folder. So that means there is no directory in between temp and the root. So the, if the only way to go back, it will be going back to root. Now inside the temp directory, as it was said, there are some files and folders. I can create a new folder with the make directory command MD and then followed by the directory name. So let's call it dir name, directory name. So if I do dir again, I see there is a new folder called their name. And say do you want to copy some of some of the files on the present directory to the their name directory. So you can do like copy and use something like BC star, meaning every file that starts with BC, move them to the their name directory, hit enter and it will tell you that two files were copied. If I do there again, I see the files are still here. If I navigate to the their name uh, folder and I do there again, I see the files here. Reason is I moved the files. Sorry, I copied the file, but I did not move the files. Now, um, say now that you want to delete the files that are in this directory, you use the delete command. You can do del star dot star. That means delete every file with any extensions on the current directory. You do that. It will ask you, are you sure? You will say yes. Do there again. There is nothing. You can go back one directory to the temp directory and you can remove directory call their name and you do there again then the directory uh, their name should have should have been deleted and in fact it was deleted okay let me clear the screen one second and if you want to look at the content of the uh, temp there directory you can do it in two ways you can navigate to it by using the cd command and then entering dir, or you can simply say dir temp dir from here, and it will show you the information of it. In this case, the temporary dir has no files, and I would like to move the bc files now into it instead of copying them. So I'm gonna do move everything starting with bc, to the temp dir folder. Now two files were moved. If I were to do dir again, I see there are no files starting with bc. And if I were to do dir temp dir, I can see that the files are there. 
Next step is, um, can we remove a directory that has files in it? So let's attempt to do that. So remove directory, temp dir, and hit enter, same way as we did before. And the prompt comes back saying, you cannot remove a directory that contains files. So either you go and delete all the files, or you enter the following command. And rm directory with the forward slash s and then the directory name to remove all the files, subdirectories that are inside of the temp directory, including the temp directory itself. And then it'll ask you, are you sure? You will say yes. We do there again then the uh, temp dir directory is gone.